Hello, this is Jonathan from River City Hyundai. I'm gonna do a quick video of this Ford Escape for you. What I'm gonna focus on on this video is the damage claims that you've seen on the carp roof. We're gonna take an in-depth look at the structure of the vehicle together, and I'm gonna explain the, uh, the carp roof and the story uh, as thoroughly as I can, okay? So let's get to it. All right, the previous owner purchased this Ford brand new. In, at the end of March, beginning of April. Two and a half months later, uh, at the middle of June, well, closer to the end of June, I guess, they got hit on the right side in the front. So, we're gonna go through the line. So it's right here that was replaced. Oh, they did quite a good job. Everything's nice, so it's right there. And that's this panel right here. So that all that that I just showed you right here over the wheel well was replaced. Um, that would be labor and paint. And it was probably, and then maybe, maybe the light, probably not realistically. It was probably just this right here um, because the claim is just over 2,000. Uh, that would be labor, paint, and uh, of course the replacement part. One month after that front end was repaired, so that happened in the end of June. <laughs> this is so unfortunate for this person. In the middle of July, so I don't even know if that was repaired yet in the front. I think they were just getting it ready for uh, the repair. So either they were driving it, actually most likely they were driving it, because um, then only 24 days later, they got hit in the right rear. So that's this right here so i'm gonna go close up these are the lines try to ignore the reflection <laughs> hello all right so that's that so again the claim was about the 2000 mark maybe above the wheel well here so then again that would uh that would make sense that it was a part labor and um paint for one panel okay all right after the front and the rear was repaired Three months later, in October of the same year, oh, I feel so bad for this person. Um, that is when the major one at about 13 and a half thousand. Now that's uh, front center, so that's head on. So we're gonna look at exactly what was replaced. And it looks like it was probably the whole thing. So uh, this front panel, so if it's head on collision, that's right here. So this is all a brand new part. Um, the bumper as well has to be a brand new part. Um, and all the components there, uh, the light and electrical. So let's go look at the line, see how the repair was. Everything gels quite nicely. Uh, that would mean the head-on on the lights here, so electrical had to be redone there. Okay, and then the hood had to have been replaced. Now that's an expensive part. And all of it is labor paint and part, because when they get the when they get the new part, it comes um, primed. And then the person who does the repair has to paint it the exact color of the vehicle. Uh, they're using factory certified paint, of course. Everything matches as if it came back from the factory. So that would be here as well. Um, and then on the right side, the same front right would have had to have been replaced. So the same panel that they got replaced on the right side here, the same one from their first accident in April had to be replaced yet again. So it's a very unfortunate situation from them. Okay. And then above the wheel well too, because that's part of the center. Somehow there's no structural damage on it. Otherwise we wouldn't be allowed to sell it. So, um, that was very fortunate. Uh, that means the people inside were quite safe. So, but just a very dumb collision. So that was in uh, October, mid-October-ish. And then they had a nice uh, run. They had eight months of no hits, no accidents. And then on the July of 2018, the same thing happened front center. So the same thing that I showed you uh, with a few less parts. Uh, I, it doesn't tell me exactly which ones, but 
probably one panel so it was probably front center but maybe one of these panels here didn't have to be repaired I'm gonna go over it again so you can see the lines there and so at that point of July they uh, the previous owners kept driving it for another half a year before, well, I guess a little over half, we'll say just under a year, uh, maybe about 10 months. And then they traded it in. Maybe they had a couple more close calls that they didn't want to deal with it. They traded it in for a small car, an Ionic, in fact, uh, the new car that Hyundai got, which is quite small. So maybe they decided that the size of the vehicle just wasn't for them. Um, I'm going to keep this video as uh, short as I can. So we're already at six minutes. Usually I go over the features of the car, uh, but this time I'm just going to touch base on the structural uh, integrity of the vehicle and the, uh, the close-ups of where the repairs were done. So again, that's this part here in the first month of owning the vehicle. And then unfortunately the back right here again, a few months after, and then two in the front. So. Uh, again, my name is John. I hope this was as helpful as I can be um, to explain the damages. Uh, I'm going to put it together in an email for you, and then we can continue on a conversation for it. I appreciate your time in watching this video. Thank you.